viper and tigress to uh, like a totem pole. Yo, wait. What do you got Tigers doing, bro? So, God, thank y'all for the support on the last video. It was crazy. I saw that, and I immediately got to work on this one. But I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to talk about both Kung Fu Panda 2 and 3 in this video. Because let's be honest. The third one was just a bunch of family drama. And we learned that Shifu was finally getting ready to retire. While the Furious 5 barely did anything. Well, let's get into it. Also, follow the Insta, bro. Please, bro. Please. It starts off, and the Furious 5 are already getting done dirty. Shifu calls Pull up the mountain to teach him about inner peace. And he's talking about the day you were chosen as a dragon warrior was the worst day of my life. Okay. For someone with PTSD and who claims that was the worst day of your life, you've been treating the Furious Five like straight garbage. They weren't even training. And instead of calling all of them up the mountain to learn about inner peace, you only called up ah. Poe. And your excuse is because he's a dragon warrior? You old that chihuahua. I clearly saw you doing all that inner peace shit too. You is not slick. Poe got declared as a dragon warrior and they told the Furious Five, oh nah, move aside. Big X is here to take your place. And I've been wondering where Rod Wave has been hiding. And I'm getting pretty confident that Big X ate him. How does one even acquire such a build? But we pull up to Gongmen City where we see some frogs practicing Kung Fu. Not knowing what's about to happen next. Shen walks through the front gate on some. Hello, fools. Now please leave my house or I'm gonna have to open the box. Hey, what's in the box? Oh, no. Nah. You asking too many questions. It don't even matter because we will defeat you. Master Croc had to look at bro to make sure you heard that correctly. We? we? You talking about Wii Sports or Mario Kart? Because I gave away my console a while ago, bro. I don't got no Wii. Look at the way he's clenching the sword. Unk is frightened. Bro even fixed his grip on the sword handle too. Like damn nigga, it ain't going anywhere. Master Ox jumps right at Shen just to get dragged to the ground. Master Croc sees this and decides that he ain't about that disrespect. Charges right at Shen and gets tossed out the frame. Masters of Kung Fu, my ass. He throws some knives and Master Croc actually manages to block them. Bro got hauled onto the field against his will, but best believe that block is going to be in his next highlight tape while playing that Erika Badu in the background. Shen then lands with that clean pose and finds himself in the 2v1. Master Ox is on his knees while Master Croc is out there practically laying on the floor. Bro's not trying for real. He's got a whole bowling ball on his tail and he ain't even used it once. They try to corner him and get put to sleep in 0.2 seconds. Even had Master Croc twirling. Bro was lost. Who gave these niggas weapons? I'm usually free on weekends, you know why? You call me. I'm right here. I'm ready. What you gonna do? If we run up on you. Hmm? Oh, oh. Because I can't believe what I'm witnessing. Master Ox got knocked down, lost his weapons, and didn't even pick them back up. Bro just rolled over. They're garbage. Why did y'all even give them screen time? Master Rhino had to try and clutch up, try to make an elite comeback. Started hitting spin moves and showing off for the camera just to push Shen back. And I almost forgot that even though Shen is arguably the weakest villain in the franchise, bro is by far the most evil. He backflips out to the box to reveal a cannon. And boom, it's Master Rhino. The group find out about this massacre and send Poe and his minions to investigate. The five are in the back and only Tigress has any type of drip. The rest of them are either half dressed or literally butt booty naked. Who is letting y'all out of the house like this? This is criminal. And I was making fun of my marvelous King Tai Lung for having no feet. But they make their way to Gungmen City and go to the prison to look for backup where they see these two. Yo, ain't no way. Free the guys, man. Let's jump these niggas. Tigress, open the gate. Yeah. Alright, let's go, bro. Hey, hold up. What y'all niggas doing? We gotta go. Oh, you ain't heard. We frauds now. They were out here lying, calling themselves masters. Sounded like Naruto when he told Nagato that he would bring peace to the village hidden in rain. That shit is hidden in the dirt by now. Straight rubble and ashes. Ain't no way it didn't get destroyed. After all that, the group made their way to Shen. Just for Paul to be like... What? what? Bro was talking about, I've got a plan. Bro, and look at what he about, does. Man? After struggling to get up some stairs, he proceeds to go and break a miniature version of the cannon. Look at their face. Oh, nah. They really got to stand there and deal with this dumbass who got them handcuffed for no reason. And then he turns around to see the actual cannon right next to him. How do you miss that? <sighs> This is like Goku didn't even bother catching Piccolo. This nigga was not serious. Mantis stops the cannon from going off and the rest of them gal the handcuffs to square up. Tigers jumps off of pole to flip over the cannon and sets up the lob to Mantis James who dunks it through the floor. But Shen manages to get away and flies to the building across the map and is like, boom they ass. Oh shit. The cannonball send him flying and has Crane on the ground in pain from losing a wing. And I was like, damn, they might as well leave him here since he can't fly. And look, I'm not even hated. But it's not like he does much anyways. Bro's got the worst track record of all time. Anything useful that he does requires him to fly. Without his wings, bro, it's trash. They decide to drop down to the bottom while Shen continues to send cannonballs to the building. And while they're falling down, Poe manages to land on Monkey. I'm surprised he even got up from that. I thought we lost another one. I was about to start calling them the Furious Three. But they managed to make it out of there alive and regroup back at the prison. And I said this once and i'll say it again these niggas always find themselves next to some sort of prison cell and the only reason i'm even talking about this scene is because tigress was on timing wait i have to go back oh yeah she was spinning poor around hit him with the weave and even threw him in the air i'm watching this like oh oh, oh, oh. 
Fuck all that! Why would you do all this against Tai Lung? Instead, she was on that bridge trying to one v one him and getting her shit folded. But Po explains how Shen was there when he was a child and that he may know about his parents and where Po came from. And I think it was pretty cool how Tigress hugged him and stuff. Cause even though she's supposed to be a hardcore character, we know that her childhood wasn't necessarily easy. Cause after Tai Lung went to prison and Shifu found Tigress, he didn't show her that much attention. Or so I would say if I cared, man! Fuck all that! Let's get back to the boxing! They showed up to Shen's base with a boatload of dynamite trying to blow up the building just for them to look up. Ah! Huh? But this dumbass nigga, the Fierce Five are really out here babysitting. They go and try to put out the explosive and start getting jumped by some wolves. And I'm crying. They thought I wouldn't notice how dirty they done Crane. So while the rest of them was out there cooking up, Crane was in the background. And all he did was one not kick. Funny. That's it. Just one. Shake my head. Who let bro on the team? You're not a fighter. You're a blocker. They chase after Poe and Tigress takes the lead. Hops over the group and then knocks two of them in the head. King Kong comes crashing down and she squares up instantly. Lil bro has no badges. Go back to climbing skyscrapers and protecting snow bunnies. He gets comboed right to sleep and her kicks must be laced with venom. Cause she got both Tai Lung and this nigga's neck turned almost a whole 180. She's walking outside with iron toes. Her husband is going to tickle her feet and realize that his fingers are gone. But Poe gets sent flying out the building after getting hit with a cannonball. And Shifu gets traumatized by the realization that Poe might have just gotten sent to Ugwe. But Poe gets saved, learns about inner peace and takes a break to reminisce about how chopped he was when he looked into that empty scroll oh nah bro's hairline is cooked close the scroll bro please we see the fierce fire chained up all together on the ship and we see him blinked up posing looking like this bro's worried about the wrong thing posing acting as if his friends aren't in trouble right now he's trolling anyways the fierce five get set free and they start cooking i'm watching this with tears of joy because they finally get the treatment they deserve even shifu put up with master croc and master ox to show off with such skillfulness and flair even crane was getting a chance to shine that's how i knew this shit wasn't going to last long and i was right because shen rolls up the cannon and booms them back into the ocean and obviously poe is the only one who isn't completely knocked out he's the size of the moon and has more plot armor than batman bro we move on to the next movie and we see Ugwe meditating once again. And I'm already pissed off. You're telling me that there's not one turtle body they can get on one knee and marry? You are a thousand years old, bro. Do something else. But he gets a blade sent towards him and he catches it with his eyes closed. He over here proving me wrong. My bad, Master Turtle. I'm not gonna lie, I have to give him his props. Another blade is flying right at him and he shuts it down. And we get introduced to Kai. And he didn't waste a second. Immediately heads straight for his bald head, no breaks. Going straight for the cranium, ready to collect his soul to turn it into an infinity stone. He grabs two gigantic boulders and crashes them in Ugwe's direction, allowing Kai to chain him up and take his chi. And Ugwe is talking about, It was never my destiny to stop you. Then why are you fighting back? Gramps was using his spiritual pressure to write symbols in the sky for apparently no reason. I'm so sick, he's still gaslighting. Poe and the Furious Five arrive at the training hall where they find out that Master Shifu wants to retire. I'm about to retire and find me a wife. Huh? Take me with you. Take me with you, please. Take me with Damn, you're getting old, bro. Nigga, get your hands off me. <sighs> Look, you're an idiot. But Ugwe's prehistoric ass declared you the Dragon Warrior, so you gotta teach this class. And he went ahead and gave it a try. All he has to do is teach a class of pros. And then I saw the way Monkey was moving. Job, Poe. And I said, nah. Look at the way this man was crawling. Poe was out there giving the most random orders, just saying a whole bunch of nonsense too. Sounded like my dad on some. Oh, pass me that one tool. Which tool? That tool right there. Which tool, bro? There is a toolbox full of them. Like, just explain yourself, nigga, damn. And the craziest part is that it turns out Shifu expected this to happen. Once again, bro was trolling. He was in a joking mood. But then Kai shows up from out of the spirit realm, and they did my boy right. Had him dripped out with so much sauce. Even gave him the freshest pair of ones right off the shelf. And again, I'm seeing this wondering where the streamer was for Tai Long. They had him out there gripping the dirt with his toes. I know there was a shoe store on the way from the prison to the bridge. He couldn't have stopped there and stole a pair or two. Instead, the bottom of his feet are now as tough as sandpaper. We skip forward and Mantis and Crane are heading on their way to jump Kai. And let's analyze this lineup. We got a bear, a chicken, and is that Master Croc? Hey, someone come get their pet lizard, bro, right away from home. He even put on more armor as if that was going to change the outcome of the fight. All three of them run in there and in no time they all get dropped. And I ain't surprised. That shit was trash, my nigga. Consistently drop the Mantis goes in next and is laying down the team. Bro lasted a total of four seconds. Crane had to go in last just to turn around and see this buff 6'4 dude right behind him. Bro is the wrong type of bull. He needs to get his ass to Chicago and forget about the Infinity Stones. Crane tries to spin back and gets knocked away in slow motion. And now I see why he's always got that hat on. This nigga is chopped. His hairline is cooked. He was so embarrassed he tried to kick a barrel at Kai and fly away. But Kai told him to get back down. Crane clearly has the worst stats out of the five. This is a sad case. But it was time for Kai. To run the fade. After being turned to stone, Crane and Mantis jumped down in front of the palace and they started playing Kai's theme in the background. And I was like, oh no! Nah! 
He's about to bully them. They over there posing up for the hardest group flick of all time. And wait a minute, let's do the math. Tai Long broke out of prison to run the fair with the Fierce Five on the bridge and beat their ass. And then pulled up on Shifu to beat him up too. And had him laid out. And Tai Long lost to Ugwe. But Kai managed to beat Ugwe. And y'all are really standing there trying to act vicious? That don't make no sense. And Kai doesn't even need Mantis and Crane's help. He just felt like being a Hall of Fame piece of shit. And this is overkill. And then once again, we get a villain chatting about how badly they got greased by Ugwe. I thought we were brothers. And he betrayed me. And they get to box him. Nope. They are running at him, trying to we jump him. And even though they're running a four on one, they're struggling to put up any type of points. The only person to do anything was Tigris. And the second that happened, Kai immediately called in Crane and Mattis for backup. Shifu had to lock in and called ISO. Charged at Kai and started running his fade. Now all they've got to do is stop Mattis and Crane. Stay. <laughs> Never mind. It's over. They suck. See my star shine like a diamond. Get him more sun on diamond. Emilio. Let's see.